maybe like once a month, I think to myself about just making the a tweet that says peace sells, but who's freaking buying? I don't even know what the point of the tweet would be, but I could do numbers. I mean, what's the point of any tweet? I well, this well, you know what? There were a couple good ones. The, mm -hmm. When I uh, got accosted by a man dressed like Ernest Hemingway on the street, who said, "Excuse me." You need to put napkins on your baby's leg, otherwise she's going to get a sunburn. And I just looked at him, and he said, no, I'm serious. And I said, okay, sir, thank you. And then I walked away. <laughs> yeah. Break the wrist and walk good. away. Yeah. Dude, also, I, I, I even tweet this. This is just another day in the life. I was taking the baby out for her walk yesterday. She's in the stroller. Uh, a guy with a stroller full of tin cans said, hey, we've got the same buggy. I laughed and said, I guess so. And then he said, I guess you're only expecting one child because you bought the Vista instead of the cruise. And I was like, what the hell? I, I just laughed and kept walking, but I was like, I didn't realize there was an Opa baby uh, stroller salesman hanging out just on the street. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's pretty clever if it's on the on the off the cuff, you know, like that's it felt like a personal attack though. It's like he he doesn't know what our situation is. Maybe we've got fertility issues or something like that. Probably honestly, he probably uses that line like five times a day. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> sounds like it's a pre prepared one. <laughs> nope. Hey, uh, pardon me, sir. Excuse After me. You. <laughs> <laughs> uh what are we cooking? When who's cooking and what's going on? I'll do whatever. Dude, honestly, I like being in front of house. Sure, you, you don't. You're not ever tempted to try cooking. I'm not a variety guy. I, I, like in any stretch of my, in any part of my existence, I'm not a variety guy. I'll Lance take a, is over at YouTube channel. Exactly. I'll take a ten piece number nine, uh, Coke Zero to drink, one sweet and sour, one hot mustard. Although I have been replacing the hot mustard with a barbecue on occasion. Dude, I, I'm all about Barbecue's that. Barbecue's nice. Uh, like once you found that meal that works for you, it's okay to stay the same a bit. It's okay to find mm -hmm. some comfort in that. I had Bear's mm -hmm. turkey sandwich for breakfast this morning too. Yeah, yeah. Except no, no QP mayonnaise because I don't have any. But oh, dude, I left mine out last night. I felt oh, like oh no, felt <laughs> so dumb because that shit gets like <laughs> oh, out of stock on Amazon all the time. You gotta wait forever. Disgusting. I know it sucks. We do the same thing accidentally. Like when I wake up at 7 a.m., come down, pour myself a cup of coffee, and then I see that we left my baby's uh, sippy cup of chocolate milk out overnight, and I get a whiff of that, and I'm like, Ugh. oof, oof. It's kind of inverted, I guess. It's an L-shaped kitchen. You got an L-shaped kitchen. You go, well, this one's got the office over there. Yeah, it's it's a it's a mirror image. Yeah. I can't flip yeah. shapes in my head, but that's okay. Yeah, the one door is a little different, but otherwise they're mm -hmm. identical. Like for real? Flipped. Kind of, yeah. That's wild. This is uh, this is gonna sound like a flex, but I really don't mean it as a flex. I got tested for um, academic excellency in the second grade. Ooh. I re all I remember is I had to read a bunch of books and uh, like do some math, and that part I was like, that's no sweat. And then she gave me like a nine-piece puzzle of irregular shapes that, when assembled properly, became a soccer ball. And I had to, like, I timed out. I couldn't, Dude. I couldn't complete the puzzle. And then when I got the results, the lady was like, you did really well, but I can't give you, like, the, the seal of approval or something because you zeroed on the puzzle. And I'm like, all right, well. Honestly, that gives me some degree of comfort because what are those charts called where, like, you map out things, like, you, you, you plot them to certain, uh, like, one to five scales in different directions and... Anyway, you know, like, if you had a distribution <laughs> that was just fives across the board, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not fair. I, mean, I don't we, think we I have got, fives across the board. We I all think... got a certain amount of stats when we were born. You can't have <laughs> fucking maxed out stats in every category. It's not fair. I definitely don't. I, in school, I, I did except four shapes. So, like, my art was really bad. But in real life, I got a lot of ones. Calling people back, that's a one. <laughs> oh, you gotta get real with it now. Those give me, are give, give those like are real a, skills. Give me like a like a, 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 a thing that you really wish you were better at, like w intelligence wise. Like, what, what do you think you struggle at? Well, I, oh, well okay, shapes. Yeah, like I'm, for I mean, sure. Yeah, you okay. know when they, like you take an online IQ test and it's like you know uh, it starts with a triangle, then the next one's a square, the next one's a pentagon, and it's like what yeah. comes next? I got to think about it for a second. <laughs> okay. And that's then fair. I'm, that's a, and that's, then I'm that's like, a vulnerability. Here's the thing. Then I say, how am I supposed to know? Maybe it goes triangle. Maybe it goes three, four, five, ten, mm -hmm. eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
18. You know, maybe it's 1115, 1115. How, do, how am I supposed to know that just because it's got three ones before, it's got to be another increase of one, you know? Seems a little arbitrary to me. Sorry, we should... I don't think, I don't think you're copying with me, but... <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Thanks for trying, at least. Holy cow. Oh, put put your trainers on. Put your trainers on, man. A little mushroom for you. Okay, and I'll need a nine year ring when you have a Uno no moment. Oh, sweat. Then I'll just bring her on. Oh, that's going to burn, yeah. And then this one. Okay, hold on, hold on. This boy's going in the garbage. What? Wasn't that a good onion ring? <laughs> <laughs> I need another on your ring. Too. Understood, understood. <laughs> Hold one back. Appreciate what? it, yeah. I, th I threw a good onion ring in there. That's my bad. I Did I just give you a pizza? Just <laughs> <laughs> just <give> you a <laughs> pizza. <laughs> Are you drunk high? Okay, there you He's go, like, there you go. Oh, no. That's not an onion ring. Oh, what the hell? Where did the oil come from? <laughs> okay, okay, here you go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay, that, go. was, that was pretty bad. Okay. Can you grab a, a mushroom, mushroom with me? yeah. Oh, man. Okay, I got a little mind flooded. That's okay. You're, you're, you know, reset yourself. Oh, no, the other way, shit. Ah. How the hell do you have the I think so? Am I allowed? In the Among Us Discord. Holy cow. Wow. It's, it's kind of crazy to be in the room where so much history happened. <laughs> uh, the, 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 so many incredible moments happened in this Discord voice channel. You've been there for all of them? Watching yeah. Watching in the background? Just uh, typing in the background. I can't believe they would marinate my favorite streamer when he's dead. <laughs> dead to say, how could he have possibly known that he wasn't swiping admin? <laughs> I don't know anything about uh, Among Us. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> perfect way to keep it. What's your favorite Among Us moment, though, from the crew, Fu? Ooh. Um, <laughs> that's a great question. I'll tell you my favorite Literally. Ryan Lion moment. Uh oh. Um, I, there's just so many to choose from. That I'm struggling to think of even one. <laughs> I was gonna give you the same answer. <laughs> oh, it's good to have you here, though. Oh, and, and how's everything well? going? It's going well. Sorry, I tweeted negative things about Valorant when I almost died due to. Um... Oh no, I just delete my tweets after a certain amount of time. Oh, okay, well then. The Shibley's the method. Is that does he do that too? Yeah, <laughs> he does it after like six hours. Yeah, or like thirty minutes. <laughs> Some of them are I try not too. to do it anymore. I just like, I feel like I've grown so much as a person five minutes after I tweet something. <laughs> <laughs> did you uh, win? Did you play it uh, up? No, we, we played it down. Oh, I think we got no. to day 13. Bro, I'm like going to fucking lose my mind. You know what it's oh, like? Oh, no. Is there it's drama fun. in the kitchen? Is this there, the bear? There's no, no, there's no, there's no drama in the kitchen. It's just like I'm so the fucking two and a half hours, three hours of just chat. Well, I want to comment on Hafu and Sips' kitchen. Have you seen Hafu and Sips' kitchen? They're on day 30. They have a full automation. Have you? He doesn't want to talk about Hafu and Sips. Why isn't he talking about Hafu and Sips? And I can't be mad because they all have really like positive, non-toxic communities. It's not like a hate raid or anything. It's just fucking annoying. <laughs> I wish you guys could be more like that. You For like three that. hours. <laughs> Maybe try to be a little more positive. Mm -hmm. Instead of just saying you when I get up. <laughs> you, his legs? What kind of comment is that to make about your streamer? Ooh, his legs. Ooh, just be happy they're not saying ooh, woo, his legs. That'd be much worse. That would be worse. True that. They didn't even say but that to gross. me when my legs were infected and uh, sort of like half rotted from the bacterial infections that I had. Oh, have I you heard Steve? The leech uh, guy. I, it only took like five minutes, but Ryan had a, a bacterial Hello. infection. Hello. 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 Real infection. Hi, five up. Well, yeah, you're half right. <laughs> oh, sorry. Two. two I had two simultaneous infections, simultaneously, bacterial infections. Yeah. yeah. Were you in a uh, bad lake? Um, no, I think I. So my prevailing theory, and I can't prove it, is that while I was cooking a meal, pork quesadillas, I used the same spatula to break up the pork in the pan as I did to flip the. 
quesadilla um, and perhaps that idiotic cross-contamination caused me to get sick. Oh. I, I take responsibility for that. So you must be in a weakened state just even prior to that. Um, I don't know. Well, <laughs> they did. They did think that uh, the doctor was like no healthy man in his 30s would almost die from this. So I had to get like a, a, a CT scan and a colonoscopy. Dear God, that can go to your brain, right? I, I don't know. It was in my legs for sure. It, it just it had the it was taken the long way. But That's then they didn't find anything on the CT scan, so they maybe get a colonoscopy. Then I got a colonoscopy. They didn't find anything on the colonoscopy, so they said he's probably healthy, but he might also be a intravenous drug user. There's they a just, bunch of poop. They just keep tossing more things, like more hypotheses, instead of just he me having a, a bad user. immune system. They said Let's we go. can't rule out intravenous drug use. I can rule it out, but then they don't trust me because that's what. So they just ended on users, that. Say. Yeah. Now yeah. I'm just waiting for calls. <laughs> Wait, so the conclusion was that you just abused drugs? Yes, that's where we're at right now. It was either oh, an infection, ba based on the fact that my uh, bacterial blood culture came back positive for two kinds of bacteria. It was either that or it might be heroin. They're not totally sold on, on the bacteria yet, but... <laughs> so it was just a fucking pork bacteria, or, or you're a drug user. I mean... Or both, I guess. You don't seem that much like a drug user. No, I'm not. Oh, uh, I drink me, some. Me... I drink coffee. I drink uh, maybe a couple beers a week. So dangerous. I'll, I'll invite you, Ryan. Don't worry. Oh, thank you, thank you. I will accept I mean, your invitation. Or it, you could, it, it might have been pork. Uh, it might have been all the uh, the eggshells that he puts inside of his eggs. I don't eat eggs that often. Egg, <laughs> eggshells have the salmonella on it, not the egg itself. Yeah. I if I crack an egg and a single shell, like little micro piece, gets in the scramble, then I'm not wasting my time trying to pull it out. I'll just eat it. Pork is the meat closest to humans. Are you not allowed to eat pig brain or something? That, I don't know. That gives me mad cow disease or something. Yeah, I wonder if you can... So you probably... Is there an animal that's totally fine to eat the brain of? Mm. I you feel like brains of all sorts of stuff. Yeah, don't they? Shrimps, I hope. You, Shrimp. You eat like a bunch oh, of seafood. Fuck, yeah. You eat <laughs> monkey <laughs> brains, apparently. Ah. That's fine. Don't eat brains in I've general. I've been trying to cut back on my monkey brain intake. But it's yeah. so hard. I mean, it's, it's just so delicious, right? It's so tasty. Pork is so gross. I don't know if I agree with that. I think pork is very tasty. <laughs> what cover what are you on? <laughs> well, I'm just like reading people talking Lord. about pork. It's trying to piss me the fuck off. Ryan, you watched the uh, House of Cards or House of the Throne? House of uh... I did. I did watch. Uh... You talked to Dumb Dog about it? Uh, no, I've not, no. not heard his opinion yet. I thought it was. I enjoyed the first episode. I, I enjoyed it. Let's go. Okay, okay cool. Steve cool. didn't like it. I thought it was okay. I think that's also a little less than okay. That's also understandable. But the most important thing: how weird does Matt Smith look? <laughs> the wig is terrible. It is. It it's not very flattering and also bad. It doesn't do him justice. He's cool well, they, though. I liked his outfit during the jousting. I thought that was badass. Mm. It was I, very well, threatening. I saw a comment that kind of had the right idea. I mean, they're all uh, children of incest, so maybe they should look a little weird. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh, oh no wonder. I don't oh, imagine like, being pitched that by, your, by a casting director. <laughs> it's so funny to say, because I didn't hesitate to insult Matt Smith, even though he's handsome uh, for a second. But then I was like, I wanted to say that the princess looks a little weird too, but I was like, that's a little misogynist. Well, yeah, we're glad I you mean, did. I mean, as long as you say they all look you know? weird, I think it's equal equal opportunity. I, I'm excited for the for the future episodes. I think it's just going to get better and better. Um, and I'm, I think I'll, I'll eventually like it. It's just uh... that one scene was gross, though. Hey, we can all agree on that. Right? That, you, that was messed up scene. The, that one scene the, was fucked up. The emotionally brutal one, or the one where they slice off a man's penis and then zoom in on it. The, the emotional, oh, the emotional brutal, brutal one. one. Uh... Also, that was it. Was also brutal because of the. We're talking about the. Earth. Yeah, 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 obviously, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, the other emotionally, emotionally devastating scene. <laughs> oh my god. No, the part where he cut his finger on the throne that emotionally devastated me, so, yeah. Hey, do you think that that lesion on the king's back is because it's going to keep growing and it represents um, po absolute power corrupts absolutely and is, is like a further... He's really um, on this metaphor thing. It's, it's, you know, it's I didn't a further pick descent up on into that. madness. I didn't pick up on that. And I think you picked up on that because thing, it, but like, it is what it I, is. I think it's just an infection, man. I think you're looking too far into this. 
I don't think I they think... just do an infection. I think it's going to keep growing throughout the show. You'll see. I he's going to keep getting other scrapes. Sorry. Well, obviously think... he's going to die at some point. The whole fucking show is about the, the succession of the throne. You're being small he's going he's gonna to die. Think a little larger, darling. I think he got grayscale from somebody's placed something on his throne that is leading to him get, to get grayscale. And it's a metaphor because he's so obsessed with old Valyria. And that's where you get uh, grayscale in Game of Thrones. Oh my god, it probably fucking is grayscale. Wait, never mind. <laughs> you just blew Steve's mind right oh. there. <laughs> my, my next YouTube thumbnail. Is it grayscale? Grayscale? <laughs> oh, wait, that makes sense. Yellow circle, big red arrow. Two million and it's probably views. his brother. Oh, oh, maybe it's maybe that's what they want you to think. Though maybe his brother's actually a good guy. Your piece of shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I really tried. I'm glad there's um a report feature now for people that are like AFK for these people that just stay behind in the beginning while everyone else is one. And I need those extra. I need those extra like minutes in my life. Mm -hmm. You lose a lot of time waiting for other people to figure out how Seesaw works in Fall Guys. It sounds guys. like an old like, phone commercial, like I need these minutes right now. Hey, I bet you, out of all the times we played Fall Guys, we've probably lost upwards of two hours to people AFKing. Yeah, that seems right. I can see it. But then I've also lost like, you know, 500 hours playing Fall Guys. Lost? Very true. <laughs> or enjoyed? 500 hours? I don't know. How many hours do I have? Good question. I, uh, I, can check you. I have 140. Oh, I only have 300. Point. I can't tell. I'm on the Epic Games Store. They haven't added that feature yet. It's, oh, yeah, you haven't migrated your account. <laughs> Do we all kind of agree that the Lord of the Rings show might actually suck? Yes. Have you seen anything from it? Is there anything, anything news? Uh, I mean, there's a trailer, but it was like, like a month ago. All of the shit I talk about mm -hmm. Netflix actually goes double for Prime Video, but I don't consider, I consider that free because I'm keeping Amazon Prime anyway. Yeah, but Amazon Prime. The most part. Yes, they. I think they have like two good shows. The Expanse and The Boys. I don't. Which I I, I haven't even really seen since like season one for the The Boys. But isn't um what the fuck is that show? Um, Wait, hold on. You're gonna have to give some details. Yeah, I'll give you guys some details in a sec. AKA the name of the show. Um. How am I not remembering the name of the show? Fleabag, yeah, Fleabag. Ah, oh, Fleabag. And Invincible. And in okay, they've got four good shows, but that's it, okay? Yeah, I'll agree with that, four, four, four. And um, they also, I guess the Grand Tour, if you're into that sort of thing. The Grand and, Tour? And oh, the... Or the one. new Jack Reacher show. If you're <laughs> I actually like Jack Reacher. I like that show. I thought it was a... Uh... All right, they have like between seven films. and 20 good shows. <laughs> but that's still not that impressive. Do they cancel after like the first or second season too a bunch? That I don't know. I think oh, they yeah. do. I still haven't seen the rehearsal. It's, it, I'm, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about it. It's very good. <laughs> I, Is it better than Nathan for you? Uh, it's... Very different. It starts out the same and then it, it becomes different. Um, I would, if you like Nathan for you, I would definitely recommend it. Oh, does it become it. like meta of Nathan for you in a way? Um, a little bit, yeah. That's cool. I, or, or maybe like more than a little bit without without spoiling anything, but it's definitely. So it must go like, into like, how could he do this? And are you like, sure you haven't the seen the show? Uh, I mean, like, I can't imagine what else it would be like if it's a Nathan for you thing. That's like the next logical step. It's almost like when you do a sequel to something and they can't come up with a villain for it. So they um, make the villain either someone that's a friend or like someone that's close to right. home or themselves. Doctor Strange. They go um, Spider-Man 3 on it. Oh, okay, Spider-Man. You went Spider-Man 3. I went Doctor Strange 2. Both Sam Raimi. We're huh? on the same page. Oh, okay. Cool. Wow. This was fucking meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out he's just actually a director for the show. He's just advertising it. Dude. Hey, who got first? Me. Oh, we're insane. Look at that. I just think, going back to Lord of the Rings, that's right, a yeah, movie yeah. product. I don't think it's going to work as a show. Because it's like, you know, Game of Thrones is like all uh, intrigue, of, you know, all these characters doing different things. But like Lord of the Rings is kind of just like, you know, big army, big battle. Wow, this is so cool. You know, like it preys on your like, this is so cool feeling. And I feel like that's I mean, gonna like be really boring for a TV show. Just yeah. Put it out over ten episodes. It's gonna be better stuff, than, like, the than the Hobbit, right? There's gonna be spinoffs. Or is it like actually just trying to be like Lord of the Rings TV show? 
Yeah, we're gonna try to make it really dramatic, like it, doing the way Game of Thrones is. It's uh, is it set earlier or is it set uh, like, way earlier, way, like yeah. thousands of years, right? Like when when uh, the half uh, elf Celebrimbor was forced by Sauron to make the One Ring of Power, and then he was sealed in eternal. Um, he was like a, in a spectral ethereal prison um, as a punishment uh, slash reward. Elf Selene probably deserved it. Like, I don't know much about Lord of the Rings lore. What do it look like? Stephen Colbert? Do you, do you did the elf look like Stephen Colbert? <laughs> <laughs> did that? Um, he looks more like um, the guy um, the, when the dad from Dexter played Raiden in Mortal Kombat Annihilation. He looks more like that. The fact that you know that connection of that he played both of those things is... Well, in the first mind. movie, it's uh, Raiden is played by uh, Christopher Lambert from Highlander, who... <laughs> I mean, come on, there can be only one. <laughs> I, I hate what's dad happening from right Mortal now. Dad Annihilation. Oh, no, it was the dad from Dexter. Yes, James, oh, James Dexter. Reamer. James. I don't remember Dexter besides the... I can't even tell you the name of the lead oh, in yeah. Dexter. I forgot his name. Michael C. Hall? That's the one, yeah. It was a, he won a lot of primetime Emmys for that show. Yeah, I know. I know his Didn't face. they come back with more Dexter? Yeah, they there's did. a new one on Showtime. Oh, is oh, yeah, that just that, it out? That end good? Is it yeah, good? It was, People like a year it, ago. Yeah. Maybe not a year, but that was a while ago. Oh, Better Call Saul ended, right? It did. Did you see it? Uh, I've only seen up to like season three, I think. Oh, oh behind. I've uh, heard it perished. really well. Oh, dead. And a lot of people think it's better than Breaking Bad. Are you guys dead already? <laughs> I, I think one of my teammates killed me, I'll be honest. This is simply <laughs> the worst game mode. It's so slow. I'm just gonna ruin this person's Why life. Does he sound like a pathetic worm when he says it? What, when I said, I'm dead, like that? Oh yeah, congratulations. Oh, my dad's name is Rick. Is his last name, I won't report uh, them. Roll? <laughs> Good one, man. Uh, I think I have permission to serve him here. <laughs> he does, <laughs> he does. Yeah, I have permission to serve him mute him, so. Okay, go ahead. I'm still gonna talk. Oh, you were talking. Oh, I, I was talking about somebody else. Oh. <laughs> Five up definitely has higher power than I do on the server. Or do we have the same power? <laughs> yeah, what's going no, on? I have server Wait, how does that work? Yeah. Can you like, if you get server muted by someone, can you just, can you just unserver mute yourself? Like you can. Oh. Here, try to unmute yourself. Five up. Hello. Yeah. Okay. You were able to do it immediately. Do it to me. <laughs> It's like the two kids running around the trash can smacking each other. I was able to do it too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your turn. Now your turn. I mean, Peter and I said that we're gonna do the uh, the shining, the two little girls from the shining together for Halloween. So. You and Peter. Yeah. We'll see if that. We'll see if that holds <laughs> true. <laughs> I would. I would love to see that. It would be a dream for me too. Just find a nice long hallway to sit in, so you can get the good picture. Don't act like you've yeah, seen really. the shining. I would know the scene. I know you haven't seen the show because you said, uh, and I quote, "I've I never see movies that came out before the year 2000." Yeah, <laughs> unless it's like The Lion King. Right. Yeah. I feel like I only mm. just saw The Lion King. I still haven't seen Titanic. I haven't either. It's a good movie. They just it's fall down. off the boat. What's uh, who cares? Well, but why? Because they hit an iceberg. Oh well, you sure you haven't seen it? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you, you pretty much got it all Sounds figured out. Sounds like you don't actually know how the Titanic sank in them. The, the that, captain was. It's like the guy who sunk the Concordia. Same kind of deal. Boring and very white. I mean, look who you're watching. It's. It takes place in like 1911, the in the Atlantic Ocean. 1911. That's only like 10 or 15 years after cowboys existed. It's true. And this they only exist for a very small part of a uh, time in history, which is so surprising to me. I thought cowboys were around forever, but alas, no. Sometimes uh, things that are beautiful are too beautiful to stick around. What does that even mean? You, you know, know, we had it at all. If you was the saying, be glad that you that it happened, not that it's gone or something. Yeah, yeah. It's a Titanic quote. Oh, I haven't seen it. So why don't you draw me like one of your French cowboys? <laughs> another famous 10 out of 10. Another, another uh, 10 out of 10. 
When do you think cowboy hats are gonna come back in like cowboy style? Or will it? I'd try to do something really spicy. I'd like to be able to wear a cowboy Again, hat. You have not you have not come to Texas. Yeah, I know. Well, not, I, like, I don't want it like that. I told you this once before, Apollo, but I, it was crazy. I flew from Vancouver to uh, Dallas once. Oh, when wow. I got off in Dallas, everybody was wearing a cowboy hat and nobody was acting like it was weird. It was insanely weird. Yeah, that's just Texas, man. You're not all cowboys. Why are you wearing no, cowboy no hats? No, one's a cowboy, but people wear cowboy hats. There's a lot of that in Arizona also. <laughs> It's, I went to Arizona and there was a person with, that had open carry just talking to a, a person. Just talking to a, <laughs> a cashier. And people then... Talk to people? Because we went in, or before that, there was a truck outside that said, fuck Biden and Kib and I were like, oh, we got to figure out who this is in here. And immediately we walk in and it's the dude that is just right at the front with... um. He had leather skin too. Leather skin? <laughs> he had skin of leather. It just grizzled a little bit baked in the sun skin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He'd been out. You ever you see someone? Of that. Everyone talks to each other, but they don't smile when doing it. Yeah, what is the what is life like in Arizona? Is it just is it stable? What do they have there? That's like we have, we have a crevice in the ground. Oh, you guys have a crevice. The Grand Canyon. Yeah. yeah okay. That's the one. That's in Arizona. It goes that what? far that down. That was in Utah or something. Oh, that no, that's in Arizona. That's like the one thing we have. We have that in Sedona. <laughs> Oh, that's the place with all the portals. Yeah. <laughs> See, you know. Wait, what? Sedona? <laughs> bunch, Isn't that a, a bunch of an uh, SUV? People? Hey, how far away is the Grand Canyon? I go to the Grand Canyon sedan. today. Oh, like a sedan? Kia, Kia Sedona's got to be an SUV. Sedan, Kia, that's the 100% forte. 100% Sedona's an SUV for sure. Isn't there, they tell, I think about a Toyota Corolla? This guy. You, you think I don't know <laughs> Kia automobiles? I, actually, you probably do. I don't know why I'm challenging you on the. I, I mean, when are you going to Switzerland? When are we going? Are we going? When are, when are we going? Well, when? my Alaska trip's not happening anymore. Why don't we go during we the go to, winter? I want to go to, you you go to, go to Japan. Japan you want to go to Japan? Sorry, guys. I think I'm probably going to be out. I'm a little busy um, whenever you're doing it. <laughs> what is the coolest place in the world to go to on a vacation? You know, Japan. there is a place that's kind of like Japan meets Switzerland. Don't say Vancouver. It's called Vancouver, British Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> Great snowboarding, good Asian restaurants, lots of parks for I, for glamping potential. Okay. I, would, I wouldn't mind visiting Vancouver, hey. honestly. It's as long as I don't have to buy a house there, there it's fine. The little glass it's really domes. nice. It's really nice. Whistler, yeah. BC. I don't think the ideal vacation would be in Canada. What the hell? What's wrong with Canada? Hey, no, wait, hey, no, nothing. Whistler's, I mean, the thing is, you go to Vancouver, it's yeah, only an hour cool. drive to Whistler. What the hell is like, Whistler? Whistler is where America, they did the Winter Olympic the events. Same shit, right? No, I it's different. Go to Wyoming or something. What? It's the greatest insult there's ever been proffered to me on this stream. Right? Just <laughs> go to <laughs> Wyoming. Yeah. Or at the very least, like very beautiful. It's Michigan just Michigan or something. It's probably exactly the same as Vancouver. Right? Madness. Even Seattle's pretty close, but we have better mountains. So why I would you go Seattle. skiing in um, Canada oh. over like Switzerland? I can't make that case for sure. I think probably the, the Alps are probably better skiing, but the skiing in Whistler is really good. Oh, let's go. I don't want to go skiing. I almost broke my leg last time I went skiing, and that kind of that kind of ruined it for me. It is insane yeah. that you can just go skiing without like proving that you know what you're doing or having like a license or something. People so so many be... people come back from these snowboarding trips and just have broken hips. Yes, they're just zip. They're zipping down the hill at like every time. Some thirty miles says, oh, I'm going hour. on a snowboarding trip. Yeah, okay. I know it's gonna happen. <laughs> Rest in peace. My brother was snowboarding while I was skiing, and he literally just kind of like tipped over, like on his snowboard. Like he wasn't moving. He just tipped over, broke his collarbone. <laughs> oh. I, I, it's just oh, like, dude, snowboarding, <laughs> skiing is just too dangerous, man. How's his I'm posture? Well, no, I mean, like, thing. when you're stuck on the on the you know snowboard, you can't like catch yourself very well. So, oh right, your feet also, are like glued to the board. It was like ice too. Like the snow wasn't. Maybe he had weak arms. Oh fuck you, dumb dog. I'm sorry. Actually, that I don't think I could have survived that anyway. Just for the best. Steve, you were jumping so quick there. Yeah, I'm trying <laughs> you to. You were a hoppy lad. Trying to get this uh, last mission over with. It makes me so nervous. These final ones. Oh God, don't fall, please. What bones have you guys broken? 
I've uh, never broken a bone. Same. I fractured my skull as a kid, which really Holy explains cow. a lot. What the fuck? Yeah. What? Wait, how did that affect you? Well, I mean, I, I pretend no. like I'm a dog a lot, so that probably has something to do with it. Okay, it's up to you. You won these before. Come on. Wait, oh, you, you win these. Oh! Oh, you, you <laughs> that <laughs> never <What>? happens. <laughs> this trick has started now. Let's go. That guy just won hexagon. Holy cow. I got a huge smile on my face. There's no way this is real. Yeah, slash moment. No, okay. They say everybody breaks their toes at some point, but Ooh. just they don't notice. Is that like every time you stub your toe, you I think I would have noticed People that I break broke my toe. Toes and don't notice. I'm sure it's like they mean it's like painful or something, right? That's not even like a bone, though. It's just like a toe. Yeah, you know, bones in your toes. I'm sure it's a bone, but it's like, come on. I'm looking it up right now. It's like, like breaking one of those it. little bones in your ear. Like, how bad could that hurt? I thought that was just cartilage. Those are bones? I don't know. Ew, wait, I don't have bones in my ear. That's cartilage. Do we? In mm. No, that's, that's cartilage. Just... Ear is cartilage, bone is toe is bone. Perfect. Wait, isn't the wait, hold on. Isn't ear like three bones? Yeah. There's that a tiny ear the, bones. the hammer ear. and the sickle and the chisel, I think. Ear bones. That's that's just Russia. That's I think just, you're just about farming equipment. <laughs> what the hell? Wait, what? I don't like to think about bones, man. Bones are scary. The middle ear contains three tiny bones. Yeah, you're exactly right. Hammer, anvil, and stirrup. I thought a stirrup was for a horse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Words right. mean multiple things. Oh my god. Wait, that is so true. <laughs> um, <laughs> attached to the membrane covered opening. That... Where the fuck are these bones? Show me a better picture. <laughs> just looking at bones right now. Well, I just don't understand. Well, that's a cool looking bone. The semicircular canals, that's not a bone. Not a bone, no. <laughs> Why do you think that like humans just like lost the ability to move their ears? Because it seems kind of useful. What it? do you mean the ability to move their ears? People can wiggle their ears. Not no, like, 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 like animals can like, you know, swivel their ears around like, oh, you know, and they, and they hear better. Like if there's something behind them, right? Yeah, but like, but like what's the closest anymore. animal we have like a shared ancestor? Yeah, but Apollo, right? I would rather take a postal know. thumb than a cat that can move. Well, its no, ears. Like, we didn't have we to lose one to get the other. Hands. We can do like we can cup our ears and then and then do the exact same thing. <laughs> I did that. I, I imagine like caveman okay. going like, did you that guys hear just, that? <laughs> was that a that lion? Might just be because I have like listening oh, issues, but I have to like cup my ears to understand something better. Did you guys not do that? I cut my ears, yeah. Or I'll like turn yeah. my ear closer to to someone to hear them. But I'm, I'm also a cereal old. cupper. <laughs> Careful with that. You guys cup stack as kids? No. no. It wasn't invented, I think, until I was too old for it to be God. anything but ironic. Wish it wasn't invented when I was a child. You were you were stacking? Didn't come out, yeah. You I was stacking. Cups. Were you a competitive yeah, I stacker? stacker? I was a competitive stacker for a little while until I got made fun of, and then um, I realized it was time to quit. Did you know owl's ears are slightly uneven? Like one is higher than the other, so they can have vertical spatial perception of sound, in addition to horizontal perception. But the, but the cup thing, the cup, like you gotta. <laughs> see, I played like chess as a kid. I played in tournaments and stuff. I met a lot of crazy people. I feel like cup stacking has got to. You must have met some characters. No, I was really focused on my cups. You didn't meet any like any rivals who had intense yeah, you parents. Yeah, like, you people. You think I was socializing I, during cup Well, wait—you gotta. Yeah. The, the, you weren't you zooming into the tournaments. Like, I feel like cup stackers Anybody? are very antisocial. Hey, you I know what I did? I, went, I, I stacked my cups. You know what I did? I went home and then I stacked some more. <laughs> Wasn't talking to anybody. Talk socializing I, as a cup stacker. I just oh. thought maybe while you were at the venue, you would meet like an insanely intense parent or something like that. Of of one of your opponents. So I'm gonna I'm gonna raise you something interesting, okay? Competitive oh, speed um, jigsaw puzzling. Okay, that's, that's incredible. incredible. Okay, so there's a competition, the World Championships for the competitive speed jigsaw. It's like 500 piece of puzzle that people haven't seen before solo, but half the people that sign up for it are just old people just because they don't really have hobbies. So that's like, oh yeah, right. it seems fun. Yeah. So are there any good really, hospital them? There's like there's like four good people that go over here. So if you trained, you could become, you could get the title World Champion for uh, Jigsaw I Puzzle. Wanna, I want to see that. I want to see how fast they do a puzzle. 
It yeah, was something about I'm, the drums in like 26 minutes. So bad at oh, that's <laughs> way longer, longer than, than I thought. I thought there. they'd be like, you know, okay, cool, blah, 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 like, like, I'm, I was thinking like 500 five pieces. 500 pieces is a lot of pieces. Yeah, but like, have you seen speedrunners? Man, they'd be Mario in like that's five minutes. Like, it would it's... take me like two weeks if I yeah. worked like 10 hours a day. This is an achievable title. Yeah, that's, I think that's for me. For who, a genius? I, I think you're understating the difficulty of a 500 piece puzzle. Came to a 50 piece puzzle. Know, dude. Most of the people watching this can't even count to 500. So, that's true. Well, now I'll tell you. So, when I played chess, there's a lot of crazy stories. Way? There was like um, I, every oh. round when people came out of the tournament room, at least 15% of the kids were in tears. Because it's the first time they'd ever lost a game like in their entire lives. That was kind of sobering. Meet a lot of very intense parents. Like, the best oh, yeah. nine-year-olds in the country they have uh, parents that are just like analyzing their games with them right after they finish them, and you're like, that kid is nine years old. Um, did you have? Um, did which chess tournaments? I don't know what to start VOD reviewing on Valorant. Sorry. <laughs> did you have the chess tournaments where like there was that one kid at the tournament that everybody knew that was like insane, and you always had like the crowd of like seven people, just like seven children around this child, yes, watching the game. Yeah. The, the, yeah, that was him. That was Ryan. No, that, it was, was, that, was, that was me at the at the local level. But when we went to the like uh, our version of the state level, there was a, a guy who ended up becoming Canada's youngest grandmaster who was in my age group. He ended up becoming Canada's youngest person. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually, believe it or not, I held that title for a, a, but the briefest of moments. A but, microsecond, yeah. Yeah. And... Uh, but then uh, someone took it from me. But this guy, um, he became Canada's youngest grandmaster. He did always have a crowd. And then now he's like uh, an investment banker, according to LinkedIn. Which is how a, far they fall. I, he's probably doing a lot better, honestly. <laughs> I mean, he like runs hedge funds or some shit? I don't know, because I don't go on LinkedIn. But You just fucked with me, though, because you've made me realize that only a very small amount of people can ever be like the the oldest person alive but yeah. everyone at one point was the youngest person alive crazy right that's fucked and none of them should be cup stackers also <laughs> true anyway i lived in a predominantly like annoying town mm. new jersey somewhere in somewhere in new jersey somewhere in illinois mm, chicago oh, that's much worse deep state illinois mm. <laughs> the way the deep state I guess that's not the right word for it. <laughs> Downtown. You had, you were the governor? The, Illinois is the New Jersey of states. <laughs> Blagojevich? Oh, I remember big Blagojevich. Mm. He had some drama. And then he went to prison. Is he still in prison? He no, got pardoned he got by Trump, I think. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> that's a, what? I believe he was pardoned <laughs> by, by Trump in the final you know months of his term in office. Wait, Quickly on. I think he's just news. chilling now. Where is Blagojevich now? <laughs> Someone in my chat said their friend got a cameo from Rod Blagojevich and it clocked in at nine minutes long. It was incredible. Those are usually like 40 seconds max. Nine minutes? That's Wait, amazing. The their question is how much was it? Oh, how did I end up with two of the same people on the team right next to me? Probably because yeah, they're a squad and trying to group the person. Wait, he wasn't on his team! What? <laughs> he just uh, he fed them and the guy win! Did he take himself down? We lost to Bitcher 1968. We did, we did. <laughs> I just love that. I can't wait for season three, man. Oh, man. Holy cow. Speaking of places people are born, you know, I wasn't actually born in Texas. Mmm. Let me guess. Where were you born? Okay, Let you me. can guess. Uh, are you one of those people that was like, your parents were on vacation on like American Samoa or something like that? No, they just moved uh, like a year after I was born. Oh, okay. So wait, you weren't born in the... Did you so say you it was were the born United in America States? though. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Puerto Rico. Dude, imagine. Imagine you guys have known for this long and I was born Puerto in another Rico? country. U.S. Virgin Islands. Were you in the oh, lower definitely 48? U.S. Virgin Islands. I feel like... I feel it's a lot like easier like a, than you're giving it credit for. Um, I feel like it's probably just like California and it's just simple. No. New Mexico. Nope, Arizona. but you have the right idea. No. Utah. Bro. No, you were close to New Mexico. Vegas, baby? Colorado? No, it's just a state bordering Texas. Arkansas. Oklahoma? 
Nope. You're gonna get the. There's only one left, Louisiana? I think. Louisiana. That's the one. Louisiana. That's the one. You know the worst part about it. That was my first guess, and there's like, there's no way. Born in the Bayou. This guy's from Louisiana, man. I had no idea. Mm. You're like Gambit. Who's Gambit? Dang old Gambit, man. He throws the cards from X Men. He's the card thrower. Oh. Were you born in cool Vancouver, Ryan? No, I uh, was born in my hometown, which is Kingston, Ontario. And then I moved to oh, Vancouver. Oh, that's right. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kingston's pretty cool. I wouldn't recommend going there on a vacation. It's uh, none of the best parts of Japan or Switzerland. <laughs> I can't it, really recommend Louisiana because I was one year old. I don't remember. I bet the, the baby food was slapping, though. What's up, Steve? Have well, you always maybe. been an Arizona boy? And have you yep. always ate, ate, ate baby food? <laughs> <laughs> Except it was, uh, it was, uh... I remember when we hung out in Vegas, you had, like, a whole pouch of baby food. <laughs> I always keep it on me. It's in my, it's in my man bag. Mm, it looks so tasty too. I mean, I mean, you said it was tasty. <laughs> did, did you lie? I didn't have did any you, of the did, baby food. Did you not? Did you not enjoy my baby food? Pat, don't. I'm definite. Houston has a big mountain. We went up uh, because we wanted to see some snow in Arizona for some reason. Um, and when we went, we, we we drove up the mountain and we passed the guy who was just like sitting on the side of the road. And he flashed us like a peace sign, and we were like, "Oh yeah, dude, you know, peace." Yeah, we 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 like we like sent it back to him. Peace um, and love. Peace and love. Yeah, and then was, he pulled out like, a gun, right? No, no, it, it's weirder than that. It, he uh, put a rubber we, band between both of his fingers and then fling, flung a rock at you. No, um, <laughs> we we left less him weird there. than that. Uh, less weird than that. Yeah, uh, we left him there, and we kept going, uh, and then we spent like thirty minutes at the, at the top of the mountain. Not really a lot to do on the Tucson mountain. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, and then so we're driving back and we get to where that guy was again and the road's closed and we're like what the hell and he and we and he shows up and he was like yeah no like uh, i was telling you guys two hours like we're blasting him here for two hours <laughs> so we were stuck on the mountain while they were planting dynamite oh, and blasting man. them out did you get to see him destroy it though no we had to leave <laughs> Oh, Aww. you didn't know? It's like how if you what? give someone the middle finger in Italy, they're like, oh, thank you, you too? You know, it's like a sign of gratitude. In Arizona, two fingers up means we're going to be blasting here for two hours. Yep. Hey, I'm gonna we're going to be planting advice, dynamite. Please and do. And I'm not going to use it because I would never risk that. That's, that's fair. Is that a real thing? I don't know, but you could try it out. What, try it out while you're in Switzerland. You can't just start those rumors about Italy, man. People well, just Italy is like, if you put, like, if you... Like you should like the what's the motion? Like, yeah, yeah, I know. Raise your fist up in an angered motion. I have yeah, the other yeah. hand on like arm. That's like that's the fuck you type thing. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm gonna see what the middle finger means in Italy. That's funny. I wonder. If... You're trying to get this guy killed in Italy, aren't you? Well, you know, here's another one. Um, if you're in Korea, don't leave your spoon in the bowl of rice. It's considered an in or the or your chopsticks for that matter. It's considered an insult to your dead ancestors. <laughs> No, so they can suck it. It's kind of like saying, <laughs> fuck you, grandma. I'm leaving my chopsticks oh, in the this? rice bowl. Oh, when it's up? Oh, yeah, yeah. I heard about that, too. Yeah, that, I mean, I can't find anything where it's, like, a good sentiment. So I'll probably just keep it to, I'll keep my finger to myself. Unless someone cuts you off. Oh, 100%. Do you guys get road rage? I don't want to oh, talk we, we about talked it. To yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a whole oh, arc. You guys talk about road rage? So uh, I'll I mean, go home. through it really fast. I gave people the finger a lot when I was driving if they cut me off. And then uh, I had a cyclist give me the finger literally the day after I told Apollo about this. And <laughs> I, I had like a crisis of faith. But then also, I swear, that, I swear that this is true. The next day I was walking and I saw a cop yell at a cyclist for running a stop sign. It was the complete circle of life in in one week i really Road, dislike baby. la cyclists in their aerodynamic uniforms it bothers me to no end and not because they're in those outfits but oh i was talking <laughs> <laughs> but because they, they they act so entitled on the road cyclists in their outfits every time you give other people like not road rage but road depression right like you you cause Kimmy to have an existential crisis over the beef jerky <laughs> oh god <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Can you tell the beef jerky story for us, please? Yes. Well, I mean, it's it's just gonna make me look better. Are you sure I should do that? Yeah, I think you should. I feel like it's better just to leave it in the past. No, I think I we mean, should bring it back. The beef jerky I mean, God story. bless her too. God bless Kimmy. You know, not this her is, fault. Uh, plushies My on fault. Glitch for those of you who don't know Kimmy. Okay, yeah. 
Um, I mean, we all did a road trip in the past, and and honestly, it makes sense. Hey, the context of why this happened makes so much sense because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. on the road trip to Vegas from LA, there's a alien beef jerky, which is supposedly like the best beef jerky you can get. So of course we're gonna stop and get that beef jerky. And I was just simply saying, on a road trip, there's always someone that gets beef jerky, and it's always one person. Mm -hmm. And if every other person doesn't conform to eating that beef jerky, then they have to fucking smell it. For the entire road trip <laughs> and it stinks when it's just one person doing it and you're not involved right right i feel okay. like it's a you, pretty you said it makes you want to throw up <laughs> i think it can through. i think it definitely can make me want to throw up if it's if it's so strong which the alien beef jerky was that and strong that, but you said that too kimmy um, well, yeah, okay, so that's the other part who? of the thing that I wasn't gonna... Kimmy was in the call when we were talking about this, and I forgot that Kimmy was on the road trip um, where the beef jerky thing happened. Uh, it's not she, like... She had bought beef jerky and... What the hell is happening Kimmy in the story? Okay, so you keep adding, well, you keep adding things to the story that, like, I'm trying to kind of close off and not... Right, I'm trying to make sure the story is interesting enough for those listening, because you know, you're leaving out the important parts. I'm also not, like, a great storyteller and forget every single thing because... Uh, Pretty much Steve was saying how much he hates beef jerky when people get it in his car on road trips, and Kimmy said, but wait, I got beef jerky. When That's, I the to to I That's the yeah, story! That's the story. That's essentially the story. That long, and it's that long. Told in two I don't tell stories. <laughs> I come up with them in the really, moment or not at all. You spent more time talking about alien beef jerky than the actual story. I gotta well, try I was trying this to cover beef my jerky, bases. Man. Like, I don't want Kimmy to see this again and be like, oh, he's talking about the fucking beef jerky thing again, piece of shit. I think she forgave Stupid you. fucking oh, bald ass, going bald what? piece of shit. <laughs> or, wait, oh, wait, no. you can't say that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just, I'm catching it, strays. <laughs> Oh God! Um, I don't know. I don't know who any of these people are, but I know all the context. I barely know the story, and I was personally insulted. <laughs> are you um, a beef jerky person on a road trip? No, I don't buy beef jerky. I find it too expensive versus other snacks. But you get like seven thousand viewers. It's <laughs> 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 true. <laughs> Bro, are you saying I should I should fuck? be getting it for free? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> boy. I'll get you up with the contact for aliens. I don't have a, jer a jerky guy. Alienware beef jerky. Yeah, I don't have a, a contact at, at Alienware beef jerky. Oh, I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't think the limit would be beef jerky for <laughs> expenditures. That's funny though. What? It's just. What do you get on road trip? Oh, I don't know. Corn I'll nuts? Get, I'll get like a bag of chips or something. Maybe oh, a nice. maybe a soda as well. I don't know. I'd probably be flying in my private jet, though, so I don't know. This <laughs> this I'll give you a beef jerky is expensive. It's like 10 bucks, isn't it? Hey, I, I'm going through the, the stuff, too, eventually. Um, I have DHT or whatever it is that's coming out of my scalp that's eventually going to make me bald, and I have to thwart that. Eventually. Can you just fly to Turkey and get, like, a hair transplant? Yeah, isn't that shit, like, $50,000, though? Don't you get, like, 5,000 viewers? <laughs> <laughs> You said, you said, uh, I, had a, I, I had a two-step setup for it, and I was just waiting for it. It that worked, good. man. Got first, the turkey hair transplant. Wait for him to talk about how expensive it is, and then hit him with the, the mix-up. Oh. Yeah, that was an uppercut for sure. You guys think about zombie attacks? How do you think it would fare? I would, um, I would punch my own ticket, I think. I don't yeah. know, is that too crazy for you guys? You would, you want to? No, well, no, no, no. I think I would, I would, you know, I'd, I'd hoard some food if I could, and I'd just kind of, you know, hole up, lock everything, stay indoors, and then when the food was gone, then, I, then it's time. Then it's time. Yeah, I wouldn't do it at the first zombie, especially if it was on like the other imagine. side of the world. Dude, but if dude, it, <laughs> imagine you fucking like, zombie. imagine you missed yourself, like mm. a zombie happens, but then it's like contained, mm. but you had already decided. Mm. <laughs> But then, it's not even a big deal or anything. Oh, if if like, it became clear that the zombies were gonna win, I think I'd be like, I'd wait till they're like outside, maybe, or until the zombies make humans into the real monster, and then I'd I'd be like, oh, see ya. That's always the next plot development. Yeah. yeah. You mentioned this when I visited you, Steve, but like your apartment is zombie fortified. Ain't no hey, one getting through. Hey, that's true as hell. There. But I don't know if it's um earthquake fortified for the big one that hits. I feel yeah, like it's, it's not. Probably not. And, I feel like it hasn't been retrofitted for that. It's kind of a bummer, but who knows? What would, what would you we'll guys out. do if uh, the big one hit? Because I think I would probably just punch my own ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably 
Well, yeah, you're kind of in like a... Wait, dude, does Vancouver get earthquakes? Yeah, we're like braced for the big one as well. Ah, okay. Oh, really? It's going to affect you? Yeah, and well, nobody knows whether it's going to be like up here or down in California or, you know, or maybe uh, like Yellowstone's going to explode or something like that. And then... That's not going to uh, I don't think we have to worry about Yellowstone. Yeah. Uh, I mean, fortunately. I watched the YouTube video. They said it was cool. <laughs> Oh, we're um, we're due for a different big one. Apparently, I didn't realize. I thought they were the big one. We're due for a different big one. Yeah, the, different the big two. Earth. The big two. What are we due for? Mm, I don't know. I think we're honestly we're probably okay. It's kind of fucked up. I don't know if there's a similar thing in California, but in Vancouver, people are worried about the earthquake. They're not worried about the tsunami at all because there's a big island with a bunch of people on it right beside us. So they'll say <laughs> oh, some no. they'll say some fucked up shit like, "Yeah, like if you live through the earthquake, it's okay cuz like the tsunami will kill everybody in Victoria, but like we'll be okay over here." Hell yeah. I'm so mad that I'm not able to go to Can or to Alaska this Ah, uh, reminds really me of how I went to Alaska about a month ago. <laughs> You did was go it to a month Alaska. ago? It was. was it a good time to go? Mm, I mean, it was rainy, but I don't think that's July's fault, I guess. You go to Juno? Uh, we went to Juno for a day and did you go to that library? Camp. No, I was on a cruise, so I was on a tour bus where we had little duck bills that we went <laughs> in the oh. oh, that sounds horrible. <laughs> it was a good time. So you enjoyed your time in Alaska? I did. I enjoy. I enjoyed. You would the, recommend it? Sure. Yeah, I would say you probably don't need to go to the town of Skagway that exists only to sell novelty T-shirts. Um, no offense, if any of the 700 people who live there are watching, right? It's kind of <laughs> fucked up, I guess. But I guess there's probably lots of great human experiences that are happening there as well. So you know, there is that. Maybe yeah, even less cool. than human. Mm -hmm, yeah. What is I mean, that supposed there's, to mean? Well, there's not a lot of people there, but there are a lot of what animals. Quality of life in Alaska. Oh, yeah. I will say, I told this uh, joke before, but I'm 33 uh, and bald. And when I bought beer in Alaska, the lady ID'd me, which made me really worry for the, like, how hard living is in Alaska. Because I'm not like a young 33. I'm like a normal to slightly weathered 33. And there. Oh, hey, you're not slightly weathered. I'm slightly weathered. Look, uh, you, you're not. I'm making my forehead do the wrinkles here, but Ooh, let me go to your stream. I can't hold it for too long. It's gonna get worse. Oh, you're gonna get a <laughs> headache. Never mind. I'll back off. Watch those but temples. I reported this guy for it. So inactivity. everyone in Alaska must just look yes. like very, very. Well, I have Scotch here in chat. Uh, Alaskan native. Okay. Scotch. So. What's the what's the vibe there? Is everyone <laughs> old as hell? He did say no, it's all correct earlier, so. <laughs> I'm guess. sure Anchorage is finally a, 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 is a fine place to visit. Like, I feel like almost everywhere is a nice place to visit, but there are so many places that are not nice to live at. It is the first place I saw um, a Let's Go Brandon flag on somebody's <laughs> house, like not even on their car. It was on, they, they were advertising it on their house. Oh, huh. well, that was interesting. Hello. Welcome back. Hello. One of my okay? friends, uh... One of my friend's uh, POE names for this league is Dark Storm Brandon, and I thought that was really good. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. The, the surreal thing about being in both the Dallas and the Houston airport was the amount of people that were wearing cowboy hats and taking photos with the iPad. It's like it feels like those two, you, you can't be an iPad wielding cowboy. I, That's true. No technology for you. Yeah, no, no. I, I think the cowboy hat has become like disassociated with being a cowboy yeah oh absolutely what would you guys do if you had a cowboy hat because i think i would probably just like punch my own ticket maybe <laughs> i like this bit this is best legs. <laughs> i uh you convinced me not to ever play valorant okay because i watch like maybe i'll see justin play it from time to time and i'm like oh that looks like you know i played some csgo back in the day maybe i could play this I watched you play it, and you were ethering people when, like, a, a single pixel of their body came onto the screen, and they were just being erased from existence. And I said, "Ah, maybe not." <laughs> I don't it's think I'm. It's rude of you to say that I was erasing people, or deleting people on that game, because sometimes it does feel like that, and I don't hear it enough. <laughs> I like I didn't see a body; I just saw the kill feed. 
Dude, maybe you need a game that gives you constant validation. Maybe that's what you need. I need to play Candy Crush. My mom has, <laughs> my mom's level 3000 on Candy Crush. Holy cow. Ryan, do your parents watch the stream ever? I don't think so. My mom tells me she doesn't, which I think means that she might, but she doesn't want to. Like, you ever get the idea that maybe like your stream is magical, but if something breaks the spell, you'll never recapture it? Um, sometimes. I'm worried that if my mom was like, hey, funny joke on your stream yesterday, I would I would just be like a bad streamer from that point onwards. <laughs> I would always have her like in my head being like, mm, you I'm, shouldn't I'm talk so much you're... about punching your own ticket for minor inconveniences. <laughs> I'm glad that you're. I feel like every streamer's in the same boat, and I tried to tell my my mom that she was very unhappy. I was like, uh, you should not watch as much, and she was like, you hate me. So I guess you fucking hate me. <laughs> I was like, no, oh, I, I just, I just need to, you know, I, I need to have someone looming over at all times. You know, you can come by visit, come watch, say hi, but like, you know, don't leave the stream on, like in yeah. the background. Yeah. I tell stories I about. I, I, I love my parents, but I tell stories about them on the stream, and I think it would be easy to get offended by that if you were the person that was being talked about but i don't I'm think it's fair i'm not talking shit about you mom <laughs> like, see saying. exactly <laughs> <laughs> but i'm sure like my parents talk shit about me when i was a kid all the time they go they go out for like oh, yeah. a, a dinner function they're probably like oh my fucking kid like blah 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 why did my kid choose cup stacking <laughs> <laughs> drove all the way to toronto for the chess tournament and then he goes two and a half out of five like kids rated 300 that qualifies, so that qualifies <laughs> What a w waste of a damn it's weekend. the worst tour in the country. <laughs> oh, man. It's cute that parents will still support you through that, though, even if you're a shitter. I mean, I was, like, middle of the pack. Let's not get personal. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I almost did travel soccer. Kept a park district, though. <laughs> they should really Steve, teach you... He's pissing himself right now. He's they thinking about those bees. <laughs> They should do like a class in, in elementary school that teaches you what animals you hide from and which ones you make yourself larger for. Oh, true. I was true. confusing with like bears because like some bears you want to like you know, rah, run at them, but yeah. other bears, you just, you're fucked. You have to run and even running is probably bad too. Can and you imagine how even sick a class that goes over taxes? Um, no, it's not that. Just don't pay Bears, them. we'll keep it to bears then. My bad. Here, if they don't, if you don't do your taxes, here's the crazy thing: the IRS kind of like does them for you, and then just goes, "Here's how much you owe us." Now I you do that. pay a little bit of pay a, a premium, but, but then you they save do that a lot shit. of time. It's it's funny you mentioning that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very true. <laughs> very very true. They will just do it, but you won't get like the good write-offs. So mm. But not that there really are that many good right house entertainers anymore. Mm. Like in Kingsman, where you gotta you gotta shoot the dog in order to be the Kingsman, but then it's got a it doesn't have a blank in it, or is that wishful thinking? I can't remember. Is that uh, one of the rules think... of being a Kingsman? Yeah, yeah you gotta kill your dog. It. No, no, it has a blank though. You're British people, but what you do, the you do fuck? have to fire the blank. Yeah, but you don't know it's a blank. Right, but you do have to shoot it. So in your head, you have to be like, "Am I the kind of person that's gonna kill my dog? Do that's gonna punch my dog." Well, you gotta punch your own ticket sometimes. What would you do if they asked you to be in Kingsman? I'd probably punch my own ticket personally. Yeah. After I got the suit, because that thing is fitted. It's pretty fly. I don't think I'd be able to handle Velociraptors. I don't think I'd be able to handle a dinosaur world or you being put in a dinosaur know. position. You I think already. zombies are one thing. <laughs> dinosaurs show You already know what I'm ticket. doing. <laughs> But then, so here's the thing that I, I haven't seen Jurassic Park Dominion, but I understand that the conceit at the start of the movie is that humans and dinosaurs have learned to coexist. How is Fuck that shit going to work at all? It's Coexisting not. with dinosaurs? Well, I don't think it did because they eventually like invaded Paris or, or some <laughs> in like the Louvre area. And then is they that were, a they metaphor? Or or how would it... that ever happen? Yeah. It's a like, metaphor for absolute power corrupts absolutely. Anytime there's like any kind of threat like that, that takes over the world, it's like the whole, all the movies just forget about the tanks and the missiles yeah, that we yeah. have. Like, no, actually, so like, we're going to pretend that the tanks don't exist. Yeah, I think five up. Oh, pretend that yeah, tanks don't exist, right? Hey, any dinosaur. Gratata, and it's over. <laughs> it's on site. 100%. True, like, what, even that. Yeah. I'll ice any dinosaur. It's not even a problem for me. Can this guy score on us already? Well, he missed the ball. Done right, yep. done right. And... Oh, nice block. Did you see that defense? Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh dude. Gold Very ball. Nice Fine, you blocked it too. Oh, blowing it up. I just the threw the gold ball right at him. I have three of them distracted. Oh, that's 
Throwing you know, another ball? This is not my play. This is not my play. Oh, stop grabbing me, you little piece of shit. I'm so good Let's at this game. No, Dude. no, no. <laughs> I did. I'm a tumbled him. <laughs> I'm a tumbled him. At the compo, what do you say? Do another, Dude, it's because yeah, we're holding it. it down on defense we, here. We are playing the best defense you've ever had. This is actually champion world champion league right now. I'm eating glass yeah, back I'm here. Well, I, had a, I have a ping issue right now, so it's not able. I'm not able to. Nice job. That was, oh, all, that was all Ryan and I. That was not you. Dude, the, the diving block is the greatest thing I've ever done in this game. I'll never <laughs> do. I'll, I'll waste 12 matches trying to recreate that magic. Diving block? What's that? Well, he was about to score. Oh, the diving block that you did. Yeah, yeah. that witness that. That was. Holy cow. That was a really special moment from you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't have that many, honestly. Oh. Hey, that's not true. No, ask Apollo. It is. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> anyway, that's the newest thing in my life. Is teeth issues. No, I hear you. Oh. The, teeth, the teeth, the hair, you know, I'm uh, I'm right there with you. I might have to get a root canal soon. Wait till you have to get the colonoscopy when you get uh, Salmonella and Campylo back there. I'll get that for free. Mm, well, mine was free, I guess, technically. Not even if I have an issue. Yeah, wait. Oh, I see. Can you guys just look? <laughs> Okay, we I'm can't right both do it though. It's a little... We should both do it. There's so... no way we take up that much space where it's gonna oh. knock us both off. Oh, I'm a parachute. Never mind. <gasps> Sorry, I got quiet during Liz Cheney. That kind of offended me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you love Wyoming, so that must yeah. have been like a pretty. Uh, <laughs> what the sad fuck? Day hey, Kanye went to Wyoming, right? Must not mm -hmm. be so bad. That's true. I'm on top of the rhino. Oh, it's it. okay. It's okay. It's okay. Wyoming is like a good one-time visit state where you just go to Yellowstone, that's the only thing there, and then you leave. It's very pretty. I it was looking like up, uh, and I this is, them. I swear this is not a bit. I was looking up like places to visit in like Wyoming and the, and the Dakotas and stuff like that. There's a bunch of like, it, this sounds so bad, but I'm, I'm serious. There's it a bunch of like, decommissioned like nuclear launch facilities that have been preserved in their original state from like the 60s and the 70s. And it all looks like old, like, fut like retro futuristic sci-fi and stuff like that. That seems cool as hell. It is. Don't people build new homes in them? Well, this one, I think they still have a missile in it. Still but it, but they removed the warhead, though, so it's not that dangerous. Oh, just... oh wait, did I just fucking oh. myself? I've been compromised. Oh, you guys all <laughs> walked Did we win? I think. No. <laughs> okay. Oh. Wait. I had so much room, I just threw. <laughs> wait, did some. I think my game crashed. Oh, we won. Wi winner, no, winner, 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 winner. It says that. Uh, did nobody win? Wait, what? I think the last no, person died at the that same happened. time, and so the game crashed. Yeah, that sounds well, right. No Literally winners? Enough. Fall. I got a survey for Fall Guys. Do you feel competitive when you play this game? I'm going to give that a yes. Thank yeah, you for yeah. your feedback. <laughs> okay. Wait, it just like up your elo, dude. <laughs> Oh no! You're probably <laughs> right. I'm just gonna sort me into like some tryhard queue. You're gonna play with the speedrunners, man. Oh no. Oh boy. That, that's, those are scary. You don't understand. Do you ever worry about? Did you ever like look at your like distance from like the center of a city to see like in what nuclear range you are if your city got nuked? Yeah, is I'm that, is uh, that, like, unhealthy in there. Because <laughs> right like you want to be either far enough away that you're probably you know not gonna get burned, but you also um, you know, you you either want to be there or you want to be like so close that you die instantly and get vaporized. Um, because if you're like anywhere in between, you just instantly bust into flames. Yeah, <laughs> burst yeah. into flames. <laughs> 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 and then it vaporizes the shadow of you trying to get one last wank in. Uh, like yeah, it, that becomes like superimposed on the sidewalk forever or whatever. Right. Yeah. So like, if what if, would you do? Basically, if. You well, I'd probably punch my ticket. <laughs> well, you'd really? But your ticket's getting punched really? anyway. I, I just wanted to say it. Right. Man, I would be like, I would be laughing a little bit because I would be like, "We're really Vancouver first? <laughs> <laughs> Vancouver, BC first, huh? I did not see that coming. These house prices have to go. Are so you talking well, about zombies attacking Vancouver first? Well, no, like a nuclear. What would you do if a nuclear missile was going to hit your city? And I said, I guess I would be incredulous. Because <laughs> I, like, I would be like, I would be like, really? Uh, whoever launched it, Vancouver? 
Oh, was the re rotating restaurant too much of a threat? Uh, they should not hit DC because those bozos are doing enough damage as is. Hey! <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, they probably do one of some favor. What if you put a line where you do like uh, a windy places? Yeah. Hey. What if you put a trampoline right <laughs> under where it's gonna land? Well, they don't blow it up on the ground. It blows up in the air. Really? Yeah. They Did you know that higher? Uh, the average nuclear warhead detonated uh, 50 kilometers above the surface of the Earth in the ionosphere would cause an EMP that would wipe out all electronics in the continental United States. Yes, I For also played though? Modern Warfare 2. I didn't. I read Did that. Did you ever be able to come back online? Mm, I don't know. I think you'd have to get like a new computer or something. But I don't know. What are you going to do? You're going to have to walk to the Best Buy to get it. It's not like you're going to be going to BestBuy.com. That'd be really inconvenient. I'd be pissed off if it was a nuclear apocalypse or something. The memes would be insane like a week later, though. <laughs> that would be them. Cow. Um, shit, you're right. I, mean, I think one of the most <laughs> wild things I saw was like when, um, what was it, when Ukraine tweeted like a meme about Russia, at, like just at, at flat out Ukraine, and then the official Thailand also responded. Ah, uh, yeah, I saw that one. What was the meme? It was, Oh, Probably There's... like if you, if Russia invades, uh, invades, I'm punching my own ticket. I doubt they would say that. That would undermine I know. morale. I'm just it's just funny to say. There's also the there's that famous guy on Twitter who is marked as like China state sponsored media, but like oh yeah, all he does is tweet like like owns at the United States all the time. He just keeps tweeting super idol out, dude. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what that means. Super idol. Super idol design. No, maybe. No. Okay, it's fine. It's a meme. It's me so glad I don't go on Twitter. <laughs> it's not funny. But I don't know. No, I can't say this. I can't. Well, okay. So like, Kate. So my wife is named Kate, by the way. Um, she's real. Uh, she, it's not a person I just made up. Um, she, she watches like some Korean news on YouTube, but like it's half news and half of it is like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's just like a little clickbait. Like she was just watching the news and sometimes it's like, oh, it rained a lot in Seoul today. Then she was watching one and a dude like gets out at a gas station Puts the, puts the nozzle in his car and then the whole gas station just explodes. <laughs> oh, what? That's not funny. Why it, are you laughing? Because it's, it's so unexpected that I I couldn't like. That was just my immediate reaction. It's like he put Mark? he puts the nozzle in his car and then immediately like the oh whole building just blows up. And it's not, it's genuinely I not feel like funny. like we're missing a piece of the story. Did he okay afterwards? No, he died. No, he's dead. He, he was at the epicenter of the explosion. Oh. It's not funny, but the... Was he smoking a cigarette or something? I, I don't know, because I don't speak Korean. I was it just added to the confusion, honestly. Well, I doubt them, he would be saying I'm smoking a cigarette even if it was in English. Well... What do you mean? <laughs> saying the plotline to Zoolander myself. at this point. Just... Yeah, it does sound like a scene from Zoolander in a way. It just is a scene from Zoolander. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But... Zoolander holds up. What is oh. going on in Korea? I feel like that happens everywhere, though. Am I the last person on our team to do this? Yeah. Yeah. Korean so dash cam. the car on at the gas station? Too. Is it really that bad? I leave my car on at the gas station. You do no, not you leave your no, car you on at the gas You would be Every dead. Time. Every time I leave it on. Like running? Every single time I leave my car on running at the gas station. That's no, insane. You no, you don't. No, you don't. I do. No, I, don't I was with this. you when you got gas. You don't. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I do. I swear to God. This can't maybe be not true. All, maybe not all the you time. Really? You can't. You literally can't. Hey, come back to LA. I'll prove it to you. No, I don't want to fucking die. <laughs> you leave your car running while you get gas? I do. I leave it on when it's pumping too. What how is, much, what is how much time could that possibly save? I'm pretty sure you can. It's not about <laughs> saving. It's just like sometimes it's too hot out, so I want to keep the air conditioning going. And then um, if I like my, my, my jaw is just I'll, like, open out right barely. now. See, I don't know how to drive, so like I didn't even I didn't even think about that that you have to do that. Can I'm I literally car? like, like mouth actually agape. Bro, so I turn off my can you phone leave your car on while pumping gas? Technically, the answer is you can. The reason is simple. Directing gas into a fuel tank while the car is running is harmless, provided there isn't a spark nearby. And, and if there is spark. a spark nearby, what, what's the... Oh, good thing there's not, like, things in your car uh, called uh, spark plugs. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, those plugs are sparks, yeah, so they can't get out. anything going wrong with that. I don't know. More likely than not, you'll be fine, but it's just a bit, it's just basic safety. Well, that's good to hear. I did think it was a myth for a while. That's why I wasn't Man, doing it. Steve, cars, and basic safety. Name a better and trio. <laughs> Hey, one time I left the oven open um, because I thought it was like a way to heat a house. <laughs> oh You're a danger really? to everyone around you. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was one of my worst moments for sure. I couldn't fucking believe I did that. So you like, so much time afterwards. Wait, I have really a chiropractor appointment in 10 minutes. I have a chiropractor appointment in 10 oh, minutes. No. You, you probably got a little extra time because your car's just on in the driveway, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's in the garage, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's in the, in the airtight garage right now. Yeah, no, sometimes I just sit in it for hours. It's <laughs> just not a problem. Just running? Mm -hmm. I don't turn my Wi-Fi. I don't put my phone into airplane mode when I'm taking off in an airplane. Anymore. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to. If that shit could cause the plane to crash, they would be dropping out of the sky constantly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I ref have you seen the level of compliance whenever an authority figure asks someone to do anything? There's no way everyone's got their phone in airplane mode. Right, right. No, for sure. What do you think is like the most unsafe thing that you've either done or do? Driving on a daily basis. Probably, probably driving. Yeah, it was, it's probably just like driving, huh? I mean, like how often does a car accident happen though, realistically? <laughs> like somewhat frequently. Th thousands of times a day. No, but like you yourself haven't like gotten a car accident and probably hopefully. I have. I have. As, as in like more than like more than once or twice, right? Uh, I mean, yeah, but like even once was good enough for me, man. I don't need another one. Yeah, but like if you go skiing, right? You're, you're putting yourself in danger like one in three times. One in three times? Dude, can I say it now without sounding braggadocious? I think I was kind of like fucking killing it in Fall Guys today. Did you see? There was some amazing plays. Yeah. What? <laughs> 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 I didn't know he was in there, man. I didn't hang up from the Discord call. All right, now I'm embarrassed because he knows I'm so like happy with myself for how well I did in the in the game. I made some great saves and and some great passes in fall ball. That dude, that that basketball block on on the basketball final. It's the greatest play I've ever made. And yet you didn't. That was just physics, man. You can't even. There's no button that's like block. It was just like I'm gonna push my body in the way of that shot, and then go like this. Go ah ah ah. Give him the Dikembe Mutombo. The rehearsal blew my mind. I cried like. Two times during the episode itself, I had it's the rare um, season finale where I think I have absolutely no idea where the show is going. Uh, like usually, it's hold on, that's a that's that's a real person. Usually, when a show has a, a season finale, you're like, oh my god, is he gonna wake up? I have no idea what's gonna happen on season two of the rehearsal. It it doesn't end on a cliffhanger. It doesn't even end on like a cliff. Like I don't, I don't even. But it's it's superlative television either way. <clears throat> so true. HBO on top. HBO Max. We don't talk about them. They removed Sesame Street. A little bit fucked up. They bought the rights to Sesame Street out from under PBS. Put it behind a paywall, and then like a year later, we're like, this shit's too expensive. What were we thinking? I don't even understand why. Oh, I, there was probably like a YouTube video essay about it, right? Like, why are they removing it? Because they don't want to pay the dude who used to voice Elmo like twenty-five cents every every time the episode airs. I do feel like there's there is a meme in here, and it's me. Um, it's the Eric Andre shooting Hannibal and then saying, "Why would Hannibal do this?" That's me watching Ninety Day Fiance, the most profitable show to ever exist, because you just pay people um, minimum. Screen Actors Guild uh, scale, and then 100 million people watch every single episode, and then going, how could HBO Max do this when they uh, cancel my favorite on-demand show?